Hello everyone, this is the Great Pumpkin speaking, and welcome to this new PvP video about Dragon Fable. Last time, we ended up with a streak of zero, and now we'll be uh, continuing our challenge with these same rules as usual. So something special happened last time in that uh, this is actually Mogloween, and I managed to get my hands on the Shadow Hunter class. This also means that this is one of the few times uh, that you'll actually get to earn the Pumpkin Lord, Zardby, and uh, Shadow Hunter armor. So, if you might want to do that. So, anyway, my recording uh, had a bit of an issue, so I lost the audio for this one as well. Still, we're gonna do, try to do this as, as well as possible. So, this time I'm actually using the uh, Alder Shadow Hunter Blade Ultra as my weapon, and here I'm showcasing the fact that I'm actually now a mage, and I've actually invested in my intelligence. What is nice about this weapon is that it's actually a sight as opposed to an actual sword, so that makes things easier for us. Also got a bunch of uh, pumpkin themed equipment, just as it is. And we start off against New Power Hurt, who is actually a cryptic class, which is the rogue version of the Italian classes. So yeah. The Shadow Hunter is a really tricky armor. It actually uses its three base attacks to actually build what we call combos. So, for instance, if I use a sword, a gun, and then after that, I actually get access to the stun move. So, that is pretty much how the various abilities mesh into one another. We've also got access to a shield. Although, while the armor is kinda alright, I can see why it's not very popular, because it's kinda difficult to use right and also the fact that its animations are actually really long. So I pop my shield there and I'm using my new pet which is the fierce uh, brave Sir Robin cat who actually deals silver damage which is actually pretty good because not a lot of stuff is resistant to that. Unfortunately the cryptic starts by putting up his shield so I won't be doing much. That's actually a really hard sell at this point in time. This guy will do a number on me. He's actually using the Corrupt Twin Blades of Doom, which are pretty powerful weapons. Although they're still level 66, we still haven't unlocked the full potential of the Doom weapons yet. No luck on that though for him. And I used my stun combo in order to actually get, a, get, get him to get off my back for a bit. And unfortunately that didn't work. Which is actually extremely bad for me. Still, I figure I'm doing a tiny bit better than he is, sorta. So I'm thinking about actually using the blind combo on him so that I can actually avoid some of his attacks, which won't serve me so well. Anyhow, I actually ran this because I didn't know the class very well with the page with the for the armor on my second screw monitor and uh, that's how I actually knew which combo to use. For this one it's actually magic and blind. If I actually use magic a second time then I'll unlock the healing combo which is pretty much what I did there. Taking a ton of damage though. So yeah, I'm pretty much attempting to use my blind combo properly this time around. Which I succeeded. But that's kind of cool, but all of this change between the sword, gun and magic, it's actually really, really nice. This is actually based on the Castlevania series, much like the character of Simon Bellamount. So yeah, I didn't have that much resistance to light, although I felt I wasn't hitting nearly as hard as I should. I really did a number on me.
and I managed to heal up again. It's a nice little move. Not a lot of damage, though. Actually, thinking that's because he was blocking again. Put up shield for good measure. Yep. Still blocking for four turns. Which is not cool. So here I figured what the hell not. I was gonna finish the entire sword combo to attempt to actually finish him right then and there. This one's actually really simple. Just keep your using swords over and over and over. Worked kind of well, except not really. It's rare that I actually get to face a character who's actually doing so well against me. Sometimes it's just real bad luck and the fact that I don't heal between fights, but this one actually kept me on my toes. We haven't really seen that uh, since uh, Strength DF, among others. Ooh, that wasn't nice. Tried to do a crit combo, but it failed right in my face. <laughs> Blew up in my face, if you will. Apparently he had no potions to steal, which means he kind of wasted his turn on that. Actually he had two potions to steal. What's up with that? Probably a bug on the PvP version. Probably works for players, not for the AI. So next match. It's where up against Nick, who's a dragon warrior. He has a half decent weapon, so he should actually be somewhat of a challenge. It's kinda weird, it's like he was holding this big jagged crystal or something. Speaking of, that uh, Ultra Shadow Hunter blade is actually that cool blade that uh, this character Fairy that I encounter now and then was using. It's a really cool thing, although it's only obtainable during Mogloween. It's not really hard. By the time you see this, I should have released my uh, video with tips on how to do uh, trick or treating efficiently. So if you want to do, the, do that and get that item, well, you could do worse than have a look at it. We did a tiny bit better, although it seems he had a bit of a resistance too. All of the moves are kind of sending bats around and all of those things. So it's kind of fitting because this class is actually used by an NPC who was actively hunting some sort of vampire demon lord. This is actually available during the Monstervania chapter of the Mogloween, which also involved her, called Monstervania. Appropriately. Time to heal up. Was hoping I could last.
You know, the problem with this class, although, it's it's not very all that mana efficient, really. It wouldn't be a problem if I could use, like, potions or things like that, but for a challenge like this, not easy. Especially when I get a guy like this, Dark Light, who is a paladin, a fairly defensive class, and also the fact that he's using a weapon which has, uh, can switch people as nearly no resistance. This is actually a poison weapon. Was that disease? Hmm, I think it's poison. My kitty is working over time, though. Yep. Stun worked. Awesome. But running out of mana rather quickly. It was not an easy matchup, like at all. Oh gee, thanks for hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself. That even their playing field rather nicely, although the heal is still rather small. I suppose usually you would have two potions. Not so bad considering. I did have no mana though. Have decent move. You can actually use it to reset your combo by using the regular attack button. So if for instance uh, you've messed up for any reason and you actually want to restart your combo to stun something quickly, well that's a way you can do it. <laughs> Hit himself again. Oh. And ba 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 ba. A Doom Knight swoops in to steal all the glory. <laughs> uh, yeah, there was no way I could actually deal with this guy. Doesn't even deserve uh, the epic uh, final round music. Kind of feel like the first guy we encountered kind of deserved it. Or even the paladin. But them's the brakes, kid.
even made me a Ganize over it for like three turns before actually attacking. <laughs> Although I might be lucky, I've been lucky, he might have missed every single one of his attacks. Yeah, like that was gonna happen. <laughs> so anyway, I'll join you with our next class. Current streak of zero. So yeah, this time around we're going to be going as an Ascendant, the Italian version of the Mage class. This time I'm actually using the uh, Nature Staff that I got off Mogloween, which is actually pretty neat, although for this class usually you'd want a fire weapon depending on the other person's resistance. So we're up against Luke, the Doom Knight, and he's actually using the Mew Fant, the pet from one of the latest releases. I actually thought about getting him, but it seems like the cats were a little better. Still, it deals fear damage and it attacks twice, which is actually pretty cool. So anyway, started against him. He's actually got uh, one of the version, either the penultimate or ultimate uh, Dragon Staff of Destiny. It's actually pretty cool. So we're going to use the hammer to actually stun him. You'll notice that the name of the abilities actually don't match the one from the tooltip, which is actually fairly strange. And oh my, I've actually missed <laughs> my stun. That's been happening a lot lately. We had no choice, had to put up my shield. Try to make the most of this. That makes things difficult. I mean, I still have four fights to take on after that. One more turn left for him. And bam, somehow managed to deal a ton of damage to me, including the fact uh, that I already had a dot and managed to land two of them, Shadow A and Shadow E. So yeah, as I said before, them's the breaks, kid. It's possible that we might recover from this, though. And we're up against Raiko, a Riftwalker, who is using pretty much all of the Doom Knight equipment, basically. Gonna use our shield to actually nullify his first attacks, and yet a bunch of them went through anyway. He's actually using the Defender Wolf pet there. Doesn't seem that strong, although it's fairly rare. Whoa. Yep, was gonna use the hammer. Try to somehow finish him before the end of this. That didn't work so well. <laughs> so yep, just like that, managed to get tag teamed by a Doom Knight and a Ref Walker. Ah. So yep, streak of zero, people. So yep, we barely got the opportunity to see what the Ascendant class could do. Still, don't worry, I'll do something about it in a uh, subsequent video. Anyhow, this time we're gonna be going as a Vanilla Pumpkin Lord, as opposed to an Evolved one. Kinda see the difference here. And we're up against Roy, the Guardian, whom we've met a couple of times now. So start with Creeping Root. Actually wondered whether Sap actually... Uh, did the debuff to nature resistance, and as it turns out, it even does on this armor. Yep, minus 40 nature. So we're using Knight of the Living Pumpkin. You'll notice that the pumpkin face are a little different in this version. Also, the fact that most of the icons for the skill are a little different. Even that crit there, instead of having two hits, it actually has only one really big one. And he ended up hitting himself again. 
Rest of the attacks are mostly f are pretty similar to what we had. Cover doesn't have an animation though. Shield is kinda cool actually. I need to teach you to do this so you don't summon me every time. You've got that right, Guardian Dragon. So yep, yeah, let's just finish him with a Night Blade. And that is that. So we're up against Elusive Killer, who is actually a Dragon Mage. Not sure if it's a, if it's a dude or a girl. Or a dude or a dudette, if you will. Pretty sure it's a dude. Them do night equipments, though. Yeah, gotta recover some of that mana, right? If I'm not mistaken, it used to be that you actually needed actual candies from Mugloween to actually use those skills. That's not really the case anymore. And another win for us. We're up against Lirat, who is a ranger. Fairly rare thing. Nice wings, too. I think it's the same one that the fairy princess is actually wearing in the main storyline. So, same as usual, creeping root. Sap. And finish up with Eternal Night. Armor is pretty similar, although the Evolved version looked a lot more buff. It was that thing that they did back in the days where the Evolved version were actually a revised version of the same armor. They don't really do that anymore. Although they do change a few things now and then. I could actually go get the... Vanilla version uh, of it for the appearance of the Paladin armor, same for Necromancer. At some point I should have a look at that. So we're up against Riku, another Doom Knight. And this guy has his own cap, Death Arrows actually. Yeah, I made my choice, I figured I just had to wait him out. Cat did a bunch of damage though. Probably had a much higher charisma than I did. Something I'd like to try soon. You probably won't see it in the next video, but after that I'm actually thinking of going full on Beastmaster. They released a new feature that actually allowed you to uh, actually select guests from the main menu instead of having to fetch them all over the place. They're not all there, or at least not the one that the players consider the best at the moment, but still we've got quite a selection. Aegis is not enough though, which should be a little tricky given the fact that you actually need to be a soul weaver to actually use him. By that I mean a soul weaver class being soul weaver and master soul weaver. It's not really difficult programming wise, although I don't know what the code for this game actually looks like. It's easy to do backseat programming until you see the actual code. So I've got up against Aether, the Evolved Dragonlord. Not sure, I think that was the bit where I actually talk about why I was using uh, this particular hammer, given that it's a sight and not an actual... Uh, other weapon, I was looking for a team weapon from Mudloween while I was here. You know, trying to work on my brand. <laughs> Got a little heal here. Doesn't hurt. resisted the mobility effect, but when I bet that it took on anyway. Oh no, it didn't. 
And I resisted too. Oh my. Then stun him with my side though. Figured that that would be enough to actually finish him. If not, at least it will somewhat temper the healing that his potions are gonna give him. We didn't have much, I unloaded all of my best skills and then uh, I ended it up against this guy. Come on, man. The bottles. Green's gonna be get pissed at you. And bam. So there we are. Streak of one. It's about time. So yeah. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you like what you're seeing, please say subscribe. Please leave a comment. And that was the Great Pumpkin. You all have a pleasant time now. Bye-bye.